Hi pals, my name is Mal, or you can call me Milk, and welcome back to my channel. Today is jam-packed with stuff that we are getting done on Olive, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Like any day, the first thing that I do is get all my items out of my mailbox that I ordered, and I rearrange my stuff in my house now that I have an actual house instead of a tent. I then changed up my outfit a little bit. We put on the bandana and the denim skirt, and we're looking cute. We then went and talked to Tom Nook, who was happy to tell me about my debt, and got a list from Timmy of everything that we need for Nook's cranny. I went and picked up all of the creatures that I set outside of the museum now that we have the tent open and we went inside and donated some of the stuff to Blathers which I always forget how cute the inside of the little tent is. It's adorable. I then placed down the items that I had in my pockets because we're trying to get those three stars as soon as possible and I started collecting items for Nook's Cranny which on my first hit I got attacked by bees and tell me this doesn't look like a scary movie. Terrifying. Wow. Anyways, back to collecting items. I then ran into Gulliver on the beach, and I ended up deciding to help him because he does end up giving you a cool gift the next day, so we helped him out. I then ordered some essentials from the Nook shop, and we went to Blathers and finished donating all the items that we needed to get a proper big museum. So that will be there the next day. I then realized that I am out of any items on my island. So I decided to get a Nook Mile ticket and make my first trip to a different island. On said island, we found Hornsby, which I do... I love Hornsby, but I've had him on my previous islands. He doesn't match the cottage core vibe, so I used this island mainly for its resources. And I also collected some coconuts on the beach so that I can place some coconuts on my island. And then I went back home where I decided to buy yet another Nook Mile ticket because I did not have enough items yet. And we found this lovely pink little lady, Peaches. <laughs> She's so cute, but again, doesn't match the vibe, so we used the items and left. And then we had all the materials needed to give to Timmy to create Nook's Cranny for tomorrow. So we placed down the little plot. I placed it on the right side of the map here, and it'll be ready for us on the next day. I then changed my wallpaper and reorganized my house a little bit to decorate it up. And then I placed some of those coconuts on the beach. On the next day, we finally have Tom telling us that Nook's Cranny is up and ready and we can celebrate it, and then he gets a very strange, mysterious call. I then see that the museum is now boarded up and ready to be new and huge tomorrow, and I also noticed that my villagers have actual homes now, so we checked those out to see what they looked like. Don't match the vibe, but that's alright, they're gonna be leaving anyways. We then went into Nook's Cranny and checked out a mysterious little lady that came in and we were kind of rude to. Didn't even wave to her. <laughs> but then we have Tom Nook telling us that he lied to three innocent people saying that he had beautiful new homes created when he did not. And um, he left it for us to kind of deal with on our own, which is an issue for future Mallory. And then we finally celebrated Nook's Cranny. The next day I set aside some items again. This is the item we got from Gulliver. I then talked to Mabel, which was the mysterious lady from before, and got this super cute skirt. I then placed all three plots that Tom Nook is harassing me into doing. I just came to this island and I'm apparently a contractor now, I, I guess and I placed all the needed items down. It was now finally time to craft and place a bridge, which I placed on the little pathway to Nooks so that I didn't have to use my big ass stick to get over there and was taught some reactions from my villagers. I then went to another island and met Weber, which I actually think fits my cottagecore theme perfectly. So we decided to invite him over. 
On the next day, we had Harvey on our island. As I was doing some decorating, I noticed that all of the plots were sold because I skipped a couple days. So we checked them out. We have Weber, of course, who we invited ourselves. Super cutie. I think he's going to stay on our island permanently. And then we also have Apple, which... Sorry, Apple, you are not staying. As well as Sandy, who also does not match the vibe. But I figured now would be a great time to talk about the villagers that I am planning to have on my island here. So we have our island dreamies list. I'm not going to go through all their names right now. We'll go more in detail later. But here they are. These are the guys that I want. And then these are all, the, uh, all of others is what I'm going to call them. These are ones that I could pass on but also could take. I'm not too picky on them. Okay. And they can be replaced. Like bill down here i think i'm gonna replace him with weber since we now have weber that's basically bill just in a more cottagecore color so so far our olive villagers that we are keeping is weber i placed down some of the fences that tom nook gave us and decorated a little bit with some things that i bought from nook's granny i planted some trees and then moved on to the next day Luna had sent us a little gift, so we replaced our cot with our new bed, and the bridge was now on our island, and we also met Weber on our island for the first time. And again, this was a couple days later, so we have some new houses, they're all here, and I'm sorry, but I hate these little hairs on Sandy's head. I need to get her off my island immediately. <laughs> Then it was on to the next day. We finally have the completed resident services and a new little lady called Isabel, which I realized when I was editing this, she's a bell. And then I looked it up to see if anybody else thought that. And there was pictures all over the place. And then this picture is a bell is a bell blew my mind. Anyways, I thought I'd share that. We then decided to celebrate Isabel's arrival and the new resident services building. Tom taught us how to customize items and had us customize this wooden wardrobe. So we decided to place it in our home and we just took a look at what we have so far for our house because we're coming to a close of this video. I then decided to use this inspiration that I found on Pinterest here to create my own island flag. I wanted to make my own. I might put a border around this eventually because I didn't, but this is the last thing that we are doing for this video. I have been so inspired lately with Animal Crossing. I know it's really burnt out right now and I went through a really burnt out spell where I just didn't even want to look at the game. But honestly restarting and just having more ideas and more visions and just having a reason to sign on to the game again because I restarted and I need to get three stars. <laughs> it's just, it's really made me want to actually continue to play Animal Crossing again and it's kind of lit that fire again so I highly recommend restarting if you have not and you're really bored of Animal Crossing. But I felt like these little mushrooms and flowers and the brown of the olive fit the cottagecore vibe perfectly and this is the first flag that I've ever made so it is not perfect but I enjoyed the way it came out anyways and I do like I said, want to put a little border around it because as you'll see in a minute, it it needs to be more flag-like. It's very piece of paper-esque and not flag-like. But I just decided to name it Olive Flag and we went to visit Isabel for the first time to have her change the flag, which absolutely blew her mind. But that is it. Here is the island flag. And this is also the end of the video. I'm going to be doing every video like this of me just kind of voicing over and speeding through the whole beginning process. And then once we get to the actual decorating portion, we will have more relaxed let's play videos. So that is going to do it for today's video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content and I will see you in the next one. Bye.